third video in this series shows you how to construct SAS triangles in GeoGebra. SAS triangles are like the one shown here, where you have two sides, the S's, and in between them one angle. So we have a side and a side, and an angle in between the two sides. So that's why we get the SAS. You should already know the basics now, so we've got our full set of tools available in the Tools window on the left-hand side. And again, we're going to start by drawing the base. All of the triangles start like this. So we've got a base of 14 centimetres. We do that by using segment with given size. Click there. Left click, choose our length, 14, and say OK. And there's the base. The next thing we need to construct is the 80 degree angle. So that's an angle with a given size. We're not measuring an angle, we're calculating an angle. So choose angle with a given size. And again, it's important, we want the angle to be at D, uh, sorry, at C. So we have to choose D first. Your letters might be different, but choose the points this way round. Choose the one on the right first, and then the one on the left. The angle we have is 80 degrees, so we'll replace that 45 with 80. And we're measuring anti-clockwise, we're measuring around here. Click OK. Now, if you get your angle on the clockwise side, just do Control Z or Command Z to undo. And here's the point that makes the 80 degree angle. It's a long way away because our base was so long, the point's quite a long way away. If you can't see the point, you can use the um, zoom buttons on the, the side here. You can zoom out and that should let you see the point and then zoom back in when you need to at the end. So you might be able, might have to zoom in or out. The other thing you can do is click the move button uh, and you can move your shape and that might give you enough room to be able to see it. Okay. If you remember doing a construction with pencil and ruler, the next thing you do is get your ruler and draw a line through that point. So our tool here is Ray. Ray starts at a fixed point and goes on indefinitely. So we'll click on D with prime, that's the D with the apostrophe after it, and there's our line. Now we don't want this line going on forever, we want a point nine centimeters along the line. And the way to do that, now with a ruler, you would measure nine centimeters. We can't do that in GeoGebra. So we're gonna do something that's much more accurate actually. And we're gonna draw a circle with a center and radius. So go down to the circles tool. It's very important you go to circle, center and, and when you click on it, you'll see the full name appears at the bottom, center and radius. So we'll click on where we want the center of the circle. We want the radius to be nine centimeters because this side is nine centimeters long. Say okay. And this is where our third point is going to be. It has to be on this ray from C to D prime, and it has to be on the circle. The ray makes the 80 degree angle. The circle gives us a 9 cm distance. So then we'll go back to our point menu, hover over, and make sure we put that point in place. And again, we can go to move and just drag to make sure everything stays in place and it's all working OK. Right, now we've got the point E, we can remove some of the construction lines that we don't want. Go back to the algebra menu, and we don't want, well, we need the points for the moment to put these extra sides in, um, but we don't want the ray, so uh, ray through C and D prime, that can go, uh, and we don't want the circle, so that can go. And actually, we don't want this point D prime anymore either, so let's get rid of that. And there's our circles. We still need, uh, sorry, our points for our corners. We still need those. Let's go back to the tool. We need to make the other two sides. Remember, they're fixed length sides. They're not going off forever. So they're segments. Click on segment and draw your two missing sides in. Okay, And there's our triangle. Now we've got our full triangle. We can put the missing angles in place. Go to your angle tool. This time, we're not, measure, uh, we're not constructing an angle, sorry, we're measuring an angle. So we use the angles tool. Click on the angles tool. Select that line, that line, that's one angle. And then do the same, those two lines. And there's another angle, and there's our triangle. Now we're going to remove all the parts we don't want. We need to hide those points, uh, and we need to put the labeling in. So go back to the algebra window on the left, and point D we want to remove, sorry I say remove, we want to hide it, um, point C we want to hide and point E we want to hide. 
be careful to hide them by clicking on these buttons. If you delete them, um, it actually removes other things that are part of your construction. So you need to use the hide button. Okay, um, right. Let's select our objects next. And click on the three dots and the settings. We need to show label and we need to show the values. And now we have all the values. We can close that down, go to move, and we can drag all our side lengths into place, all our angles into place so we can read them clearly. And there is your accurate SAS triangle.